Hey y'all, it's your boy Joshua here, back with another tutorial on IK Bones. Yeah, this is happening. Um, this time I'm going to teach you how to make them from scratch, because I realize that importing IK Bones can sometimes be disastrous if you're not careful. Like, you see how these bones are almost straight? Never do that. Never have your bones exactly straight up and down because then the IK bones don't work. Anyways, what we're gonna do here first, because as you can see, we've got a motto here, and it's it doesn't have IK bones, but it does have the group bone, center bone, and leg bones, and also the tailbone and lower body bone, because it's a bad idea to delete those when the lower body bone has to be the parent for the thighs. Anyway. First, what you're going to want to do is go to here, this one, and go to add, add duplicate, and then you get a second one. What you're going to want to do is delete that character, and I am really disorganized today. Oh dear god. Well, it's not. I'm going to have this pasted in the description, but you put that after this, and that makes it Bone. Well, not quite. But it does put it in the place for your IK bone. So you turn on these options here, movement and IK. And then click on it. It turns orange. You're gonna want to do the same thing for the foot bone, like the toe bone. You're gonna want to do the same thing. And you're going to in my case, the toe bone is invisible because it's not really used. But just make sure to turn on the movement IK and rotate settings. Now that you have those on, it's time for the ever fun and exciting process of putting the IK bones data in. First, what you're going to want to do is go here, select the thigh bone and the knee bone and you can tell which one those which ones those are because they will be highlighted in red in the view and once you've got that you're going to want to go right click press copy index and then go down to the ankle IK So you guys might have to delete some link to data because they're not supposed to link to anything. <clears throat> okay, so from here, you're going to want to go to this box over here, which will now be able to be active, because as you can see, it's not active in this one, but when you go to the IK bone itself, it is active. You're going to want to right click and then Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Who gave you the right to do this? Press copy index. Okay, so copy from index, you click that, and it'll paste this in. Now, here's the really, really important part. Click on where it has the knee bone, and you can cross check because it's always the one after the thigh bone if you have your bones parented and ordered correctly. You're going to want to go over here and type in negative 180. There's already a zero, so you can just type in negative 18. And then you're going to want to go over here and press negative 5 and limit angle. And now that you have that in place, there shouldn't be a problem with that. Now, for the loop, for the loop here, you set it as 40. The angle can stay the same, but the target has to be set. And the target needs to be bone number 7, in my case, which is the ankle bone. And now for the second IK, you're going to have to do the same thing, copy the index for the ankle bone this time, go to the toe IK, paste from the index, 
you need to set the target to be the toe bone this time. And you don't actually have to edit any of the settings here, but you do have to edit the loop, set that to 14. And then, well, let's try it. Let's try this in OMD. As you can see, the problem here is that you only get this, which means, yeah, the ankle IK works, but the toe IK is not working. And what you need to do in this case, you need to go to the toe IK, and you need to change the parent bone so that it's the ankle IK. And once you have done that, when you go back into MMD, If you click on the IK bone, raise it up, just like any normal IK bone. Yeah, this has been a tutorial by your boy Joshua, who is running on crackhead energy. It's only 11.42 p.m. and I'm already on crackhead energy. This is what happens when Adderall wears off.